Hello and welcome to pretty much an update video on, well, everything related to this channel pretty much. Uh, as you will know, back at the end of August, early September, I filmed a video basically stating what to expect on the channel in autumn. Uh, I announced quite a few things. And if you've been keeping an eye on my channel throughout September and uh, October so far, you'll notice I've not really stick to that. Um, there's a number of reasons why. Uh, and that is what I'm going to be explaining in this video pretty much. Uh, things have happened. Uh, I've not been feeling the best about the channel. Uh, but yeah, pretty much what I'm going to be doing is basically kind of explaining how things have sort of panned out from when I filmed that video to now addressing a few things that have happened in relation to one video I uploaded in particular and basically explaining uh, what to expect uh, sort of from now on uh, obviously I wasn't planning to do this because back when I filmed that other video uh, you know I wasn't expecting some of the things that have happened to happen like I was planning to film that and pretty much then uh, film my usual sort of end of year video highlighting everything that's happened which I'm still gonna do at the end of the year uh, but uh, obviously things have happened and I thought it's only best uh, especially for those of you guys who haven't been following me or don't follow me sorry on Instagram as such um, where I post ma the majority of my updates I thought it'd be best sort of a film this and fill you guys on YouTube in and also I'm obviously uh, filming this uh, as I'll get onto a bit later uh, to sort of address a few things that have happened uh, well basically made mainly one thing that's happened with this channel but that's not all this video is going to be focused on obviously because I've got all the stuff uh, to talk about um, but yeah this is going to be raw this is going to be unedited this is going to be me opening up there's going to be no music in the background or anything like that because I it's just not the kind of the atmosphere I want for this video. I want it to be raw. I want it to be unedited. Uh, I usually edit my videos quite a bit, as you'll know. Well, not like loads, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, things are going to be getting better. Um, don't worry. Uh, so yeah, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to enable notifications so you don't miss out on any of that content when it comes out because I've got lots and lots of content uh, planned for you guys. Uh, I'm by no means short on content, however some things have just had to change because of various circumstances, uh, but uh, yeah, um, without further ado, uh, let me sort of get into things. So, pretty much over the past month I've been sort of feeling more down about everything really, not necessarily just in relation to this channel, although I really haven't been feeling the best about this channel, uh, probably the worst I've been feeling about this channel in since sort of, I don't even know, like in over like a year um, and I think that's mainly because obviously with this whole situation I've been feeling worse about it lately and that's not necessarily because things are getting worse with it either because let's face it they are like and to make matters worse, my camera's decided to just randomly stop recording even though I've not got low battery and I've not got low storage so I'm not sure why that is um, yeah and I didn't have the chance to read the text on the message that popped up explaining why it had stopped recording um, I mean I'm visually impaired for those of you who don't know so Reading text quickly, especially small text that appears on Canon cameras, and those of you who have a Canon camera will know, is not the easiest thing for me to do. So hopefully it doesn't happen again, but I don't know why it stopped, so who knows. But yeah, pretty much, um, I am at a high risk of getting seriously ill because I had a kidney transplant, because basically both of my kidneys don't work, and... Basically I have to be on medication to stop my new kidney because for those who don't know you only need one kidney to work. Uh, need, that's need to stop that from ejecting but it weakens my immune system pretty much. 
and obviously that's not really good for fighting viruses having a weak immune system so yeah I'm not going to go into any more detail because it is personal and I don't really want to talk about it in more detail on YouTube but I'm just telling you guys the basics I've never talked about it in more detail than that really so uh, yeah there's nothing new there um, but yeah uh, that means that basically I can't meet up with my mates at parks and stuff like that and I mean, during obviously the lockdown, uh, first lockdown sort of in the wave, first wave of the virus from like March until June, like obviously it got to me, the whole situation, as it did for everyone, but I honestly felt happier then because I kind of felt more surrounded because everyone was sort of in the same situation as me. But obviously as parks have reopened and everyone started going back and I can't, it has got to me more, but not as much as it has been over this past month. And I think it's because sort of everyone's gone back to school, college, university and stuff. So like I'm obviously stuck at home in because I've not gone to university for those of you who don't know, I was meant to start this year but I deferred it. Uh, because they're still doing some face-to-face -face teaching, so I'm pretty much still at home, as I have been for, like, seven months now. Stuck at home. I've been able to, like, get out for walks, but, like, that's it. I've been stuck here, basically trapped, and it's really just got to me over the past month, and I think I've got to the point now, and everyone in my family feels the same, because we're obviously all in the same situation. We're, we're just fed up of it now, and it's caused me to lose, sort of, a lot of motivation with everything and I've sort of felt more lonely because obviously my friends have been at school and stuff so I've had less people to talk to during the day and that on top of the thing like fact I still can't go to parks and everyone's going to like Scarefest Fright Nights and just parks in general at the moment Pleasure Beach, you know everything uh, I can't have that either so I just feel very sort of isolated if you get what I mean at the moment and it sort of got to the point which it didn't really have before where I'm losing a lot of my motivation even to do YouTube I have been playing a lot of Planet Coaster really and getting into that but I just sort of lost a lot of my motivation with YouTube and just been feeling like because before it was like YouTube kept me occupied but I just don't know what it is lately I've lost a lot of motivation I don't think it's just because of that though I think it's also because of the fact I've, I've sort of kept up a pretty, you know, heavy going upload schedule throughout this sort of entire time. Like, I was uploading all through summer. I started this, like, in June, uh, but I was sort of uploading twice a week before then. I've been uploading on every Wednesday and every Saturday at sort of 6 or 7 p.m. because it changed to 7 p.m. at some point uh, in the course for this. Um, I've sort of, you know, I've been uploading really often and it takes time to edit videos as those of you who do YouTube will know. So I've, obviously I've been uploading twice a week so I've been spending a lot of time editing and, you know, I think it's sort of got to the point where I've sort of, because I do enjoy doing this but when you're doing something consistently for so long you can lose motivation so I think it's that as well. And so sort of because of that, as you'll know, I've been uploading less. I had an entire week off YouTube. You know, there were a few occasions where I uploaded once a week. Um, and it's also because uh, of a couple of personal issues in my social life that sort of just got me down and made me basically where I, did, I didn't feel like recording a video. Uh, that's, the, that's why I had a week off, but I'm not going to get into that because, one, there's no need and two it's personal between the people involved in that but uh, yeah I mean it started off in September okay because if I remember rightly I uploaded a Minecraft quest to build a roller coaster episode with Kirsten I then uploaded top five airtime moments you know doing that usual sort of top five video I've said I'd be doing uh, in my what to expect in autumn 20 20 because I pretty much said that I'd be uploading twice a week Wednesday and Saturday at 7pm as I have been doing before 
and I said that uh, one week it would be a Wednesday I'd be doing a top five or just chatty video or review, ride review and then I said on the sort of the Saturdays I'd be up on that week I'd be uploading Minecraft Quest to build a roller coaster uh, episode with Kirsten and then sort of on the other week uh, so week two of this sort of schedule if you will I'd be uploading a Minecraft Java um, touring the Minecraft Java edition theme park on a Wednesday uh, click the card in the top right to go and watch oh that was the wrong, ah oh, I keep doing that top right there you go click the card in the top right to go and watch what to expect in all in 2020 so you can hear more about what I was planning to do um, because I'm only going to go over it briefly here because I don't want to be like repeating myself you know everything I've said in another video that would just be pointless uh, but yeah basically the other week I'd say that Wednesday I'd do a Minecraft Java video and then on Saturday it'd be another sort of chatty video top five top ten review would you rather etc something like that um, and then you go back to week one again doing one of those videos on the Wednesday and then the Minecraft quest to build a roller coaster on a Saturday and before for those of you who didn't know I was recording Minecraft quest to build a roller coaster uh, weekly and uploading it weekly but uh, with Kirsten going back to school uh, it'd be a big ask for her to you know me getting her to record something every week with me for half an hour or it'd be usually going longer than that so uh, that's why I was changing things up pretty much and also I wanted to tour some Minecraft Java theme parks uh, with me you know I'd sort of started doing that because I toured um, the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World uh, back in May but it sort of stopped uh, those sorts of videos because of other things but I wanted to bring them back uh, but yeah, pretty much I uploaded an episode with Kirsten following schedule on the Saturday. I then, um, well, pretty much I wanted to record these Minecraft Java episodes with Kirsten, but she couldn't do it, so I did top five airtime moments uh, on the following Wednesday to that. And then on the Saturday, um, I can't actually remember what, I can't actually remember what I uploaded after that. I might have skipped an upload I can't remember but no I can't I think I'm, it might have been another episode with Kirsten and that would have been the start of the two weekly uploads because I think we already had something recorded and she could do it so I did upload one the week after and then on the Wednesday after that I believe I uploaded the trolling video which was a bit of a bonus one and then I also uploaded the Would You Rather video on the Saturday because the schedule just got me messed up because uh, I kind of did the trolling video because Kirsten still couldn't record Minecraft Java uh, on that Wednesday and it was sort of a bonus video from the last episode I uploaded of the series. So then I uploaded that Would You Rather video and then that was the last episode I uploaded for a week because it was around that time that sort of problems happened, you know, in my social life and basically skipped a week uploading and then I was still very low on motivation the week after so I uploaded something like a POV which I said I'd pretty much upload those as a last resort um, and yeah it was around that time of that week uh, and I hate to break this news to you because uh, me and Kirsten were due to be recording Minecraft Java uh, but she still couldn't do that and she couldn't do another episode of Minecraft Quest to build a roller coaster even though that Saturday uh, we were due to upload because it had been two weeks since the last episode and I was trying to get things back on schedule around that time uh, but pretty much she's told me that she can't do the series anymore I know that's going to be news to some of you guys uh, because I know not all of you follow me on Instagram but she can't do the series anymore so uh, she said, basically said to me that she doesn't mind how I carry on. I'm not going to go into the reasons why she can't do it, um, because uh, they are personal. But uh, it, I just want to reassure you guys, it's not because of a fallout or anything like that. She can't. She she basically can't do it uh, for other reasons. But she doesn't want me to go into them as such. Um, so I'm going to respect that and not go into it. But 
uh, yeah, so I was pretty much thinking, you know, what am I going to do with the series? She basically told me she didn't mind how I carried it on. You know, she said, I don't, you know, she said she didn't mind. So, so the choices were I'd either do it on my own, which I didn't want to do because, you know, that series had been a collab. You know, I wanted it to be an entertaining, more laid back series on the channel. And, you know, it was never going to be as entertaining if it was just me because, you know, if you watch those videos, you'll understand. Uh, go and watch them. I'll put a playlist. I'll put a link to the playlist in the top right so you can go and watch those. But, yeah, I didn't want to do it on my own. Uh, so the other option was obviously to find someone else to do it with me. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute, actually, uh, because uh, this is sort of the good news you're going to get from this video, or the biggest part of good news. Um, I mean, as much as it's sad that Kirsten's not going to be able to do it anymore, I have got a very, very special guest that you're all going to love, um, who's going to be taking her place doing this. Um, so yeah, pretty much I went out uh, on Instagram, you know, I took to my story to basically ask, you know, announce that Kirsten's not going to be able to do it anymore, does anyone want to sort of take over from her and do it with me? Um, and a few people messaged me. Uh, and I'm happy to announce in this video, and this is going to be the first time I've announced this on YouTube, uh, that Ella from Theme Park United on Instagram, and she also has a Facebook, is going to be taking over from Kirsten. And, you know, I'm I'm personally really, really happy that uh, she's going to be the one taking over, because she's going to fit this series so, so well. Uh, I'm genuinely really pleased. You know, I would have been pleased whoever it was, but, you know, she's... You know, she will fit this series really well. She's got the right personality for the series, and I'm just so happy that she's going to be taking over with it. She also has a YouTube channel, I should mention, uh, Theme Park United. Uh, go and subscribe to that. You know what? Should I put a link to her channel in the description? Because why not? Uh, I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Um, and, I mean, she sort of just started it back up as well. She had a bit of a break from YouTube. And, you know, she's back now, um, and she's actually filmed a really, really, really good um, review of the Scarefest mazes. Um, so for those of you who want to find out, sort of, who can't go and want to find out what they were like, uh, there are spoilers in that video, obviously. Or for those of you who may be nervous to do them, uh, like I would be, um, and, you know, you want to know what, sort of what to expect, go and watch that. Because it's such a good video, she's done such a good job of that video. It's the most detailed maze sort of reviews for this year I've seen. I've not sort of watched everyone's vlogs and everything, but she goes into so much detail about the different mazes. And, you know, it generally is a really, really good video. So definitely go and check that out. But she is going to be uh, taking the place of Kirsten in this series. I can't wait. You guys are going to love it. Hopefully I can get an episode on soon. Uh, Kirsten, by the way, has come on the world with me. Uh, she's put everything she basically had on her uh, in some chests uh, that we had. Uh, so we've still got everything. We're not going to have to redo anything. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, we're all prepared. Uh, we're going to start recording pretty much uh, when Ella can. Uh, and hopefully maybe next Saturday I'll get a video up of it. I doubt this Saturday there'll be a video up. Uh, I think this Saturday, uh, to be honest, is just going to be uh, another break for me, to be honest, because I'm sort of feeling that way at the moment. You know, I want to take uh, a break uh, just for the moment. And then I just, you know, I just want to kind of leave this Saturday and kind of start fresh next week. Uh, because, you know, yeah, uh, I, you know, I am doing online courses at the moment, for those of you who don't know, so I do have a bit less time to record and edit as well uh, than I did in summer. You know, still enough to do uh, uploads twice a week, but, you know, I want some time to myself as well, and that uh, is going to be quite limited if I'm to upload twice a week uh, and do these courses as well. Um, so, you know, especially with how I'm feeling at the moment, you know, a lot of the time I just want to spend time doing something more relaxing, to be honest, than 
uh, just sort of you know the video stuff but you know that just keeps my mind sort of more settled with sort of how I'm feeling at the moment but I've told myself that next week I'm going to try and get sort of back into things as well you know because close season is approaching as well I should say and as much as it's going to sound really bad me saying this I'm very 50-50 on close season this year because I know it's going to be so hard for everyone who's been relying on parks to get them through as an escape from this whole situation, you know, an escape from the mind, you know. It's going to be so hard for everyone this year, especially with, since things, you know, everything's getting worse at the moment. Deaths are increasing, infections are increasing, and I really feel for everyone. But at the same time, you know, I feel like that I'm going to be more sort of level in that I'm not going to be missing out on any, obviously, park visits, or not as many. Uh, because you know the majority of parks are going to be closing in a few weeks. I believe Pleasure Beach has got its winter weekends. Obviously, if those can go ahead with everything that's going on, um, but yeah, you know it's going to help me a bit because I I I hope to, that you know I'll feel sort of less isolated with it all. So that's sort of the good side of it for me. But obviously, I do feel for everyone else. You know, you know I do feel for that. So. Uh, I just want to, you know, I just want to sort of reinforce, I do feel for all of you guys who can't rely on parks, but uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to sort of increase my motivation a bit more, you know, that feeling sort of less isolated and I'm going to feel more sort of willing to do these videos, you know, because everyone needs a break sometimes, you know, it's not that I don't care about the channel, of course I do, but sometimes you just need a break, especially with me having uploaded so frequently throughout summer and you know this channel's been a massive part of my life this year keeping me occupied as I said uh, but yeah next week I aim to sort of get back on top of things I've got a top five planned for next Wednesday and then hopefully uh, the, my first episode of Minecraft Quest to build a roller coaster uh, with Ella from Theme Park United may be ready for the Saturday uh, in terms of the Minecraft Java stuff as well uh, I should get on to uh, I have had a few problems with that uh, as well. Uh, obviously, I don't believe Ella has Java Edition, so uh, I won't be able to do the videos with her because I wanted to do them with Kirsten as another collab originally, and she has Minecraft Java Edition. However, she's not going to be able to do, I'll, I'll tell you guys now, Quest to Build a Roller Coaster, all the Minecraft Java videos with me, so the Minecraft Java videos may have to be um done on my own unless someone wants to do some of them with me if you do want to do some of them with me please do let me know message me on instagram or twitter uh, direct message me uh, it'll most likely be instagram because most of my viewers use instagram um but yeah um pretty much what the problem is there's that uh, which has sort of been stopping me from doing them because you know I wanted Kirsten to, there to do them so I've been holding off on them another thing is server problems because uh, one of the main servers I wanted to film videos on for Minecraft Fort Park and Minecraft Alton Towers I'll announce now because those are the ones I'm going to be talking uh, Euromagic, uh, that server was having a few problems at the start of September so that's also affected videos with that and me sort of uploading them because, you know, part of this not uploading as much is because I've sort of been in a bit of a dilemma of sort of with those sort of things and I've ended up holding off and I've just on them and stuff to see if the, you know, those issues can sort of be resolved and they've just not been resolved and it's resulted in me not having enough time to get anything out. So that's also contributed to the lack of uploads over this month. Uh, but yeah, all server issues are fixed now. But the other problem is, the servers are all doing Halloween events at the moment, like Scarefest and Fright Nights. And it might sound stupid, but there are some problems with that that mean I don't really want to start those videos at the moment. One of those being that the parks are always set to night mode during this time. Uh, and with me being visually impaired, night in Minecraft is quite difficult for me to sort of film in like go around and filming and obviously the you know there's lights in the game that light up the parts but still and also the special stuff they're doing for Halloween on the servers because you know they've uh, built scare mazes uh, in Minecraft such as you know the attic T 
Terror of the Towers, um, Mind Tours, The Walking Dead Do or Die, um, you know, many of the Fort Park and Alton Tower scare mazes from previous years. Um, and they're also very dark in there, so that's also make things difficult. And the other reason is I kind of just want to explore these parks for my first episode anyway, sort of, you know, without there being an event there, because I do kind of just want to show you guys them as they are throughout the majority of the year for the first episode, first of all, because, you know, especially with Fort Park, with me not having a, having been... I want to sort of look around there when there's no like fright nights or anything to just get the experience of the park as it would be in sort of you know just a normal average day um, and that applies to when I first go to Fort Park as well I don't really want to go in fright nights because it's busy and uh, well many of you will probably know what happened on Sunday at Fort Park fright nights you know it's awful that that happened, you know, how some people sort of behaved in the park that day as well. Uh, so obviously I don't really want that, and, you know, I just want to... Yeah, for those reasons, I just kind of want to go uh, when it's sort of, there's sort of no fright nights there or anything like that, which is probably going to be the case when I go for my first time, to be honest. Um, but yeah, those are sort of the reasons why... Um, I've not done any Minecraft Java videos. I may look at doing an MC Magic video or Palace Network as it's now called uh, for another park. Um, I may look at preparing a video for that uh, before sort of the events end towards the well, beginning of November uh, on uh, the Euro Magic server. Uh, but we'll see about that one. It depends uh, what MC Magic are doing as well. Um, because they may be doing some special Halloween stuff and I'd rather, again, explore the parks, at least for a first episode, because some parks I'll have to split into multiple episodes, but at least for a first episode, explore the parks, you know, in that sort of their normal state where there's no special events or anything. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much, really, everything... I've had to talk about sort of there in terms of video plans so uh, you know to sort of confirm everything um, in terms of when I resume the schedule it will be the same as I announced before uh, what I planned for my sort of autumn schedule uh, with me doing you know one week quest to build a roller coaster on Saturday one week Wednesday top five top ten etc etc and then the other week a Minecraft Java video on a Wednesday and Saturday doing a top 10 or te top 5 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, um, the last thing I just want to talk about then really is um, sort of basically addressing sort of a reaction to a recent video I've done on this channel. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago now. And that is um, my Oktoberfest rant video. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, um, and for those of you, because I didn't explain it in that much detail uh, in the video itself, but I'm going to be dressing, addressing uh, everything to do that in a minute. Because um, I'm not going to lie, it has had quite a significant impact uh, on sort of how I've been feeling with everything, and it certainly hasn't helped uh, in any way at all, that video. Um, it's definitely not helped me at all, and it's definitely not helped the channel at all. Um, and it is an issue with the channel, therefore I'm going to be talking about it here. Uh, but yeah, to sort of sum things up for everyone, uh, I am going to be going into some detail uh, about sort of the things that have been said about this video uh, and sort of my opinions on it all, uh, but that's coming up in a minute. What happened was, obviously, the parks have had this Oktoberfest event this year, and it's basically been, well, Alton Towers, Fort Park, Black Place Beach have had this event. It's basically been a German themed event, themed to this sort of German celebration uh, with this prince and princess uh, getting married uh, in October, as the name suggests, even though it is celebrated mainly in September. Uh, that's sort of what the event is in Germany. And the parks. Here uh, in the UK, 
of this year a uh, running event uh, in the time frame in which the event is celebrated in Germany uh, basically um, you know it's an event uh, to basically yeah it's just an event they've done really uh, for 2020 um, and you know sort of looking at the event uh, when it was announced and from people's vlogs um, because obviously I can't go to park, so I've not been to it. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of it in that it didn't look as appealing to me as, say, the events of uh, Fright Nights and then Scarefest, the Halloween events, stuff like that, and some other events that Parks have done. Um, and I've not, um, for those of you who didn't watch the video, I've not really been to any theme park events apart from a couple of Halloween events. Uh, and really that sort of it and um, so yeah but I've seen obviously a lot of events from vlogs in previous years like Scarefest and stuff uh, and I was hoping to go to sort of those events this year uh, but obviously coronavirus happened and yeah but pretty much you know I wasn't the biggest fan of it uh, having a look you know a look at it you know, it just I just thought it doesn't look quite as appealing to me as say some of the other Halloween events. So pretty much I started sort of messaging my mates and stuff saying, you know, oh it doesn't look like that amazing this event, you know, blah 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 and I did it a few times, you know. Uh, you know, just as a bit of a joke, um you know, it kind of became this sort of joke that, oh, you know, Ben doesn't like Oktoberfest. Um you know, some of my mates did go to it. I think, personally, it's safe to say all my mates enjoyed the events. I don't know how exactly they rate them in comparison to the Halloween events. I'd say, well, most people probably think the Halloween events are better. But, uh, yeah, I, and I was just saying stuff like, why are they doing German events in the U or a German event in the UK, UK theme parks and stuff like that? And just joking, like, why is it called Oktoberfest when it's celebrated in September? And it kind of got to the point, really, when one of my mates uh, said to me, and I know I named him uh, in the Oktoberfest video, so if you have seen that, please don't go attacking him about anything like that, because he doesn't deserve that, and this is all my responsibility. You know, he made a joke, basically saying, oh, you should do an Oktoberfest rant video, it'd be really controversial if you did that. And, you know, he meant it as a joke. I knew he meant it as a joke. He didn't, for once... Oh, I, he didn't, you know, once expect that I'd go ahead and do the video. And I, and, and then I kind of thought, oh, yeah, it'd be a great idea, you know, to do a jokey video for, you know, maybe, you know, because it's not something I really do, a rant video, you know, it'd be a great idea to do sort of a jokey video. And we were just laughing about it. And then, and then, you know, pretty much I told him, you know, you know, I said to him, you know what, I'm going to do this Oktoberfest rant video. And then he was like, well, yeah, go ahead. I'm looking forward to it, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I sat down and I filmed the video. Um, I'm not going to lie. To be honest, when I think back on it, the video is probably less less brutal than I originally anticipated. Um, but naturally, I was aware that having not been to the events people would not be very happy about it hence i addressed at the start of the video that you know i haven't been i addressed that you know it's fun it's going to be over exaggerated this video and i also said that uh, i'm going to be basing it off events i've seen in terms of comparing how good i think it is to these other events and, you know, I came up with, you know, a title, something like Oktoberfest Rant, a terrible move for UK theme parks, you know, just because, you know, it was sort of my opinion that it wasn't that great. And I'm not going to lie, terrible was really over-exaggerated in terms of what I actually think of Oktoberfest based on what I've seen. Um, but, yeah, I came up with that title pretty much. And, you know, I even said at the start of the video that, um, if I was to have gone to Oktoberfest, I probably would have enjoyed it more than I feel like, you know, I would have in the video. Because that's usually how, 
or not in the video, just you know, in general, based off what I've seen, because that's usually how things go. Videos and stuff like that really don't do an event's justice because they just don't. You know, you have to be there to know the exact atmosphere. Like the videos will give you a good idea. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like if you don't like something you see in the video, chances are you're not going to be the biggest fan of it when you go. But you know, often videos don't do things justice in terms of how good they are. Sometimes in terms of how bad they are, but also in terms of how good they are. Uh, so I did point that out as well. So I uploaded the video, pretty much. I premiered it on the channel. Um, you know, some guys from Instagram who follow me came along. Uh, everything was all fine. You know, the mate who suggested, uh, as a joke, that I do this, uh, loved the video. And, you know, no one else was that bothered, you know, everyone was sort of sharing their opinions in the live chat going, you know, I love Oktoberfest. And I said at the start of the video as well, I respect everyone's opinions on it, etc, uh, etc. Et you know, if you like it, that's fine. I, I understand. Uh, but it got to a few hours after I uploaded and let's just say I started to get some backlash from it with people commenting down below. And I said before, I pointed out that... I was probably going to get feedback like this, people commenting down like, you know, you can't judge it, you've not been, etc, etc. And one particular person, or t two really, uh, but one particular content creator, uh, in particular, who saw this video and sent me a pretty lengthy comment on it, decided that they'd share their opinions of it on Twitter pretty much. Uh, this person is quite well known in the community. It's someone who I've spoken to in the past quite a bit. Um, and she pretty much shared it on Twitter. And naturally because she has a much bigger presence on Twitter than I do. Uh, she's a much bigger content creator than I am. Naturally that tweet got quite a bit of attention. Uh, and it was basically saying that, you know, I'm really triggered that this person has, well, she didn't actually say who I was, but this person has gone ahead and made this 35 minute video about it when they've not been. Uh, she didn't say who it was, but she did put in a separate tweet a link to the video. Naturally, that got quite a bit of attention and sort of acted as a bit of a catalyst for the backlash, really, as I then had a lot of people sort of coming to the video, watching it and commenting on it disliking it because the video has like 4 likes and 22 dislikes which really doesn't bother me dislikes don't bother me because at the end of the day uh, the actors likes uh, they help your video on the algorithm you know 4 likes and 22 dislikes is the equivalent of 26 likes pretty much uh, dislikes used to bother me when uh, b before I knew uh, their impact on the algorithm because I thought they'd sort of harm my video but you know I know better now uh, someone else also tweeted out, and I actually only found this before, but that tweet didn't get quite as much attention. Um, and my personal opinions sort of on that are, um, and I'll get onto some of the comments in a minute, that this may be biased, but I just feel like that it's quite unnecessary. Um, but not the comments as such, but the fact that this was shared on Twitter, because... At the end of the day, I don't know, it's a bit, yeah, I'm maybe being biased, but it's not something I'm really that happy with, to be honest. But because, I mean, you know, if you don't like the video, fair enough, I can understand, but there's nothing, like, horrifically bad in that video. It's, you know, it's controversial, but it's, there's nothing outright, no, that's not right. Because in me, in my opinion, you know, that stuff to be should be done when the, it's necessary to spread awareness, you know, like with the situation uh, with uh, a certain big theme park YouTuber a few months back spreading awareness about that, you know, the Fort Park thing on Sunday, you know, any video that sort of could be harmful uh, to someone, you know, because there's no harm in the video I posted, it's just controversial, so yeah, it's a bit, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, I feel like it's just stuff like that and I see it all the time on Twitter just spreads unnecessary negativity in the community so I don't think it was really needed uh, for those tweets to be shared 
Um, but uh, those are my thoughts on that. Nobody at all shared it on Instagram. You know, all the people I know on Instagram were fine with that video. Twitter is where sort of this main sort of problem um, sprouted from. Well, not necessarily even Twitter to start with, but Twitter certainly out acted as a catalyst for it, as I said before. Uh, not not one person shared anything on Instagram about it. Uh, the guys on Instagram who follow me were all alright. Um, but it does upset me as well that this particular person who did this, you know, is someone whose channel I've looked up to in the past. It's someone I've supported a lot in the past over sort of the past year or longer than that since I know about this person's channel and some of the people as well commenting with people I know who've sort of looked up to me in the past um, and it's fine to have those opinions but you know it does I just want you guys to know it has got to me this um, but in terms of some of the comments that were being shared about it and people saying you know you can't judge this you know it's fine to have that point of view um, but the point of me saying all that stuff at the start of the video, you know, it's meant to be a fun video, it's meant to be over-exaggerated, you know, as a bit of something different for this channel, you know. Just a, sort of a fun, jokey video to do, um, pretty much. And, you know, people saying that, and, you know, I said at the start of the video, I acknowledged I'm probably getting stuff like that, because people are saying it as if I had no clue. Uh, that this was sort of controversial um, which you know even though I addressed at the start of the video it probably is and I said you know I respect the German culture I respect people who like Oktoberfest it's over exaggerated uh, I'm only basing it off events I've seen not that I've been to you know I talked about it as if I hadn't been you know a lot of the points stuff about you know I didn't agree with them selling alcohol uh, additional alcohol because you know this is a pandemic and I accept that some people will have different opinions on that you know me being at risk I feel like stuff like that stuff I feel quite strong about because you know I'm the type of person who's likely to get seriously ill from this if I catch it as many others are and I'm sure many in a similar situation to be me because there's going to be other people in a similar situation to me I can guarantee that and you know I respect that um, I don't want you guys to think that it's all me uh, who I'm referring to here. And there's lots of us who are going to be in the same boat. I don't know anyone personally who's in the same boat as me in terms of not going to parks and that. But yeah, well, I, no, I take that back. I, I do know someone, but I don't know why they're not uh, going necessarily. Uh, but yeah, I don't, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's. Yeah, um, and then the other thing was, you know, the stuff about September Fest, um, making that joke, why is it called September Fest? When it's, um, you know, why is it called October Fest? Shouldn't it be called September Fest? You know, stuff like that was just joking, you know, it was just to, you know, and for entertainment, really. That And that wasn't even specific to the events at the parts, that was just about the event in general in Germany, you know, the celebration. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a jokey thing to include. And some of the other things I said in there was, you know, why, you know, and then I did say stuff about the events, like why, like, you know, I, why they're playing it around the park. I just wish it was in one area, that, because I didn't, because the atmosphere didn't look that appealing to me. And I said loads of, you know, over exaggerated things like, oh, the events messed up, oh, I despise Oktoberfest, like really over exaggerated stuff like that, pretty much. And I think that's what annoyed most people. But what I'm trying to get is about two out of about four points I made had nothing to do with what the parks were doing at all. Like, there was, I'm not going to lie, the point I made about, oh, the atmosphere and stuff was a very major point of the video. But there were like, and then there was another point I made, which I'll get on to. Uh, in a minute, which also really isn't sort of relevant to not going to Oktoberfest, the events, like, there's literally one out of four points there that were, like, specific to the events, like, talking about what they've done with the soundtracks and stuff, uh, but that is, seemed to be what really annoyed people. Uh, but yeah, uh, the point I'm trying to ma make is, for everyone saying that, you know, fair enough, I respect that opinion, and I'm going to take it into account when doing similar videos in the future, because I'm telling you now, 
I'm not going to be doing any more ramp videos about events I've not been to um, with a result of what, as a result of what's happened. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of trying to clarify to you guys that I do, I was aware of this and that, you know, it was jokey. It was meant to be sort of a jokey video. And I know some people won't respect that I've done this sort of as a joke. And I think sort of a major thing really to get from this is that uh, in terms of doing stuff like that is that I need to respect that there are other people you know, than people I know who are going to be watching this and some people may take things different ways and it maybe was a bit far really uh, me doing what I did but um, yeah and for that reason I do sort of take back doing that video but then again I don't personally feel there's a problem with it and I don't think a lot of my friends did either um you know the one who sort of said do it as a joke you know they didn't have a problem with it and stuff but i think i need to as well because i don't think some people grasp the fact it's a joke it's a joke i think some people feel that you know it was unacceptable to do that as a joke and i can understand but really you know i don't see the problem but they do and i'm you know, I'm going to take that into account, obviously, and not do videos about stuff I've not done in the future, but I think other people didn't realise it was a joke, and they were acting like that, even though I said, like, I didn't explicitly say it's a joke, but I said it's for fun. You know, I wasn't intending to harm the reputation of the park, so that's why I did the video, sort of, you know, after it had all finished. I wanted, you know, for that reason, I wanted to do it after it had all finished. Um... But, uh, yeah, it could well come back next year. I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, it has gone down well with the parks. And that's another thing people are saying. It's gone down well. You know, why are you saying it's a terrible event? You know, that was that's the thing, though. When you're talking about stuff, re like, related to your opinion, it's natural to say, oh, it's a terrible thing, event. You might not necess necessarily say my opinion, but when you're going off on one talking about your opinion of like especially in this case the atmosphere and stuff you know that was me again sort of over exaggerating going oh it's terrible you know it's natural it's a ramp video it was done for fun you know things like that are going to be said but it shouldn't be taken to heart necessarily and that's the thing you know it was a jokey video um but uh, yeah i think that's pretty much everything covered in relation to people saying you can't judge it another thing is the Bouncilla Fest thing, like Bouncilla Fest event? People are acting like I was taking that seriously, saying stuff like, "Ah, oh, half the rides would have to be closed, and it wouldn't be COVID secure." The way I was talking in that section of the video, if you don't think that was a joke, it didn't come across to you that that was a joke, then that's beyond me because the way I was talking, you know, it was really over exaggerated, you know. Like, I'm not going to lie, that sort of concept came up with and I sort of put a bit from my video that me and Kirsten did, one of our Minecraft quests for the roller coaster. I put, you know, something in there that I'd said in the video, you know, this is what Bounce Hill should have been, jumping off rides onto slime blocks and stuff like that. Like, it's a stupid idea for an event, but it was literally done for entertainment purposes, you know? Coming up with this crazy event that could replace Oktoberfest. And that's the thing, it was you know, an over-exaggerated joke. Uh, but back to what I said before, you know, um, I think I need to respect that other people, other than my friends who may, you know, see the jokey side like me, because I'm not going to lie, you know, the, the, you know, me and my friends who see that side of it, you know, see the other side, you know, people saying you can't judge it and stuff, you know, that's perfectly valid um, that you guys have said that, but... I do feel that, you know, it was quite harsh in that people were posting it on Twitter. I, I really don't think that was needed. Um, you know, YouTube comments is fine because, you know, that's a place for that. But, you know, trying to turn everyone against somebody on Twitter just doesn't sit right with me in terms of what happened. But I'll get into that a bit more uh, again later. But, yeah, the Bounce Hill Fest bit was clearly a joke. Like... I just can't understand why anyone would think it wasn't from the way I said it. 
but yeah and you know it applies to other videos as well you know often I'll say I'll talk about like Josh but for people who've never seen me doing a video before they're gonna think who is Josh and that's what I need to respect I need to respect people who've never seen my channel more I think in future videos and that's the main a big lesson I can learn from this and not just people who know me and will automatically just see my point of view on things because they know me so well uh, but uh, I will definitely consider that with future videos and then uh, other things people said another thing uh, was that I'm desperate for content like I'm not desperate for content as I said before I know I've not, not been uploading much lately uh, but that's just because you know of the reasons I said before about losing motivation I'm not desperate for content just because someone goes and does a very out there rant video doesn't mean they're desperate for content like yeah like as I said it was suggested by my friend I wasn't planning to do this video uh, before that um, and you know as for being desperate for content there's still plenty of you know I know the Minecraft stuff there was problems with that but there's still plenty of top 10s and top 5s and stuff I could have uploaded had I feel, felt sort of motivated to upload those in the places of those I could have just uploaded more you know chatty videos I still have plenty of content I was not at all desperate for content uh, but yeah and then another thing people said uh, the other person said was that I was just saying this because I couldn't go to events and you know hating on it for everyone else no like I literally applauded Fright Nights and Scarefest in that video and I've never been to them I can't go to them but I'm not doing ramp videos on them and I'm telling you now I won't be doing ramp videos on uh, those events because they look like brilliant events they just look more appealing to me if I had to pick one I'd say that to me Fright Nights looks like the better event this year than Scarefest but Again, that's all down to opinion, and I, you know, I've not been to the event, so you know, if I was to go, my opinion might change of those. Uh, but yeah, that's all with uh, that. Uh, what uh, someone said, someone else said that um, I've done it because I'm desperate for subscribers. No, like li that was literally something that sprung out, of, you know, into my head when. You know, someone said, my friend said, you know, do an Oktoberfest rant video as a joke. And I just went, oh, that'd be a good idea. You know, there was no conscious thought about subscribers. Um, I knew that it would get quite a few views because those sort of videos always do. But that wasn't my reason for making it, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, it wasn't anything to do with views. I knew it would do well, but that thought came afterwards. That's not the reason I made it. It's done nothing for my channel in terms of subscribers. I've gained, I'm not getting a single subscriber from that video. In fact, I lost a subscriber. So yeah, I definitely wasn't doing it to get more subscribers. Like, no, that's just not why I did it at all. Like, that's that's the other thing though with uh, me kind of losing motivation with this channel. Uh, and stuff like that, like, my channel in general's definitely just gone downhill, especially over the past month, like, during lockdown, I was banging out a lot of content, and uh, not many of the channels were at the time, so naturally, you know, I was getting a lot of subscribers, because it was something for people to watch, like, I'm pretty sure I got, like, 10 subscribers, uh, in the space of eight hours once and that's when I got um, or reached 50 subscribers um, and then sort of as parts reopen you know my channel was still growing but it slowed down uh, and that's because um, you know it's understandable because obviously I wasn't going to parts and other people were so you know people at that time wanted to know about social distancing measures and how the parts were then the they'd reopen so you know people you know my videos were sort of less appealing to people uh, then and people were going to watch other channels and then as for after sort of September onwards you know I've lost motivation with my channel and I think so I've been uploading less videos and naturally the more videos you upload as long as they're of good quality the faster your channel's going to grow 
and the fact that people are still going to parks and to events, you know, like Oktoberfest. Um, at that time, and putting out content about it, people wanted to see what Oktoberfest was like. You know, I wanted to, um, to see how it compared to what I thought it was going to be like. Um, as I've already talked about, you know, I saw the vlogs and it didn't look like that appealing for me, as I said. Uh, but I've already talked about all of that. Oh, people watching that, and that combined with the fact I was uploading less, just meant my channel really has stopped growing. It's been stuck around the 83, 84, 85 subscriber mark for quite a bit now. Uh, but, you know, I want to get, you know, start getting back on schedule. As I said, you know, I'm trying to, I'm going to try and do that from next week, especially with uh, me doing the series with Ellen now, and, um, yeah, uh, as well as the fact that close season is approaching as well, and I know that a lot of enthusiasts upload less during close season, so, you know, my channel should start picking up again, and I'm sure, you know, if I was at parks, like, in July, August, like, I would be at 100 subs by now, I'm pretty sure, because a lot of channels have been gaining a lot of subs lately that have been going to the parks, because they've been getting a lot of views naturally, people coming in and watching the video, so... Yeah, I'm sure I would have been at 100 subs by now. Um, one of the last arguments I have to sort of talk about um, is another one that was mentioned about, you know, people need to go to parks, have fun, the safe and that. Um, like, I didn't say that they couldn't go to parks. I'm guessing that was just, you know, because I was saying about Oktoberfest, you know, the drinking stuff as well that I didn't agree with. And yet... I agree the parks are pretty safe, it's just I can't afford to take the risk and also, um, yeah, about the drinking thing as well, I already talked about that, but that's just something I don't agree with. I don't I don't know what this person was referencing and commented this, they probably just, you know, put it in there, um, but, yeah, it did kind of get to me a bit now, like that's no one's fault, but... It did kind of get to me that, you know, that was kind of being used in a comment, you know, sort of against me in terms of the video when, you know, I can't really go. And it does, I know it, you know, this, this can't be helped and it sounds stupid I'm saying this, but it does annoy me a bit because, like, I could have made that video having gone to the event and I'm sure I would have literally got little to no backlash, but the f fact that obviously I've not been to it means that you know I've gone ahead and made that and you know I've got the backlash because like you know if I could go to parks like I would have gone and I wouldn't I would have gone to Oktoberfest you know I would have gone and experienced it but um yeah it is what it is and you know it just gets to me you know and that's the thing and um, you know, one last argument I actually made in that video uh, was that, you know, um, sort of, you know, slating this event was that, you know, why why choose Oktoberfest, you know, it's German culture and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, I actually like to, um, I don't is thank the right word? I don't know, um, you know. Um, it was, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say who it was, it was Park Spill. Um, put a comment on my video and I just like to thank him for being uh, con you know constructive uh, because his comment you know as much as he clearly disagreed uh, with this video I've done it was a very constructive comment uh, you know it wasn't outright just attacking me it was constructive it was well uh, reinforced well written you know and he was saying like you know I thought it was phenomenal Oktoberfest you know and as I said respect everyone's opinions, you know, fine, that's fine, you know, and he was saying that, you know, we should be applauding sort of the events, because, you know, we don't have many events in this country compared to other theme parks in the rest of the world, and, you know, that's a valid point, as much as this video was just a joke, you know, that's a perfectly valid point to be making, and another thing he said in there was, you know, there's actually apparently a pub chain, apparently, um, related to Oktoberfest, and that he's been to a lot of pop up Oktoberfest and that people do um, know about it in this country um, because you know I was having never heard of it I didn't think it was like people did but
maybe people do. And I mean, that argument I made pretty much there for, you know, it's a bit out the window really, uh, because people clearly do know about it, or quite a few people anyway. You know, and, um, and knowing that I think helps me to kind of, you know, respect and, you know, <laughs> it sounds weird, but like Oktoberfest a bit more. Um, you know, it, it maybe it does fit into UK theme parks, um, really. Um, you know, I, I mean, my points were all over-exaggerated anyway, but even so, um, you know, maybe it does fit in a bit more, or perhaps it does a bit more than I was making it, you know, than I, than I thought. Uh, but yeah, thank you to Parks Bill, and you know, that's the thing, though, um, with this whole thing, you know, con He's quite a big content creator, well, uh, you know, medium size, and that's the thing, you know, this whole sort of thing, you know, people sharing it on Twitter, which as I said before, I, I don't, it's biased, and it might sound biased because, you know, it's coming from me and I'm sort of the one who was attacked through all this, but to, it's just not needed, and it did kind of, you know, get to me that big content creators like that, were you know see my video and not liking it and you know um i mean it's kind of my fault obviously for putting it out there like you know people are going to see it but the fact that someone felt the need to share this on twitter like i just felt a bit kind of like i was having everyone put against me and you know it just didn't feel right and you know, I see it all the time on Twitter as well, as I said before. Like, obviously, I put the video out, you know, people can find that, but for someone to go and call me out for that, I, I don't, I just don't personally feel like it was a justifiable reason to get called out on Twitter for. You know, as I said, with something that, you know, if it was really, you know, a harmful video as such, or, you know, something really, you know, that people need to be aware of, you know, as I said, like the situation a couple of months ago with a channel, then fair enough, but, you know, this was just, and I know some people clearly didn't interpret it as this, but it was just, you know, a jokey video, really. Um, but yeah, everyone's going to have their own views on it, but, you know, I just felt personally it wasn't needed for this person to go and do that, and this other person who also uh, did a tweet as well, um, but... Yeah, it did get to me that, you know, I was sort of having everyone turn against me. Because, you know, I did anticipate, that's the thing, with me having put that at the start of the video, I wasn't really expecting that much backlash, to be honest. You know, I was aware it could happen, which is why I put in the start, you know, I'm aware people would say it, but, you know, blah, 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 I'm judging it off stuff I've been to, you know, it's for fun. No, I'm sorry, I'm judging off stuff I've not been to, uh, it's just for fun, blah, blah, blah. It's over-exaggerated and that. Um, if I hadn't put that in, I would have expected, you know, backlash, but I didn't expect as much having put that in. Like, I put, like I said that to try and mitigate the backlash, but it really didn't work, did it? Um, and I mean, I, the backlash I received was more than anything I could anticipate. You know, I was anticipating originally maybe three, four comments on the video, not ten. Uh, and, you know, with, with sort of the, um, me having done a uh, bit at the start of the video, I mean, you know, maybe one like one comment, if any, really. But yeah, it, it did get to me, to be honest, and I was quite upset uh, when it was all kind of kicking off. And honestly, you know, it has made me quite quite self conscious now about what people think of me in the community, to be honest. Um, and I'm just speaking honestly, like on Instagram, like less so. Um, because the, like the less people, or if anyone really, using that who had a problem with it, like the odd person maybe, uh, who sort of said stuff on Twitter and YouTube comments, but the people I sort of know quite well on Instagram, like, you know, they were pretty neutral on it. Like, they could see both sides, I think. Uh, but, I'll, you know, I having spoke to several people about it, they definitely did think that the backlash I got was a bit harsh. Uh, the Twitter stuff in particular. Um, but uh, as I said, everyone has their own opinion on this. You know, I'm just sort of addressing this. Uh, I want to apologise, um, pretty much, for that video. You know, for anyone who's interpreted it wrong. For anyone who's, you know, unhappy with me about it. Um, 
because you know I didn't mean to kind of upset people with it I didn't mean to you know make people un unhappy you know I just and I do agree I should have probably you know thought more about it um, you know I should have thought more about it uh, do I take back making it entirely 60% of me probably says yes um, because you know the backlash I got but then the other 40% says no because personally I was okay with it um, you know I could see I can see obviously the sides the other side of it uh, with people saying you can't judge it and whatever because you know that's a valid point uh, you know it was a jokey video uh, but you know they were still making a valid point by saying you can't judge it properly um, but as I said you know that's like one out of four points I made in the video were like and it as much as it was a major point like one out of four points was like literally about the events themselves like the rest of it was obviously the joke the September Fest joke the about Parks doing drinking like selling alcohol about and as much as that was in relation to the event like going wouldn't have probably changed my thoughts on that really because that's yeah um um and the other one about uh, the German culture and um, in UK theme parks obviously that point's a bit pointless uh, based on Park Spill's comment uh, but yeah you know I do feel quite self-conscious now about what people think and I hope that people watching this uh, understand a bit more now where I was coming from with that video uh, and I hope that yeah uh, anyone who has anything against me can move on from this um, really that's sort of the point of this segment as well um, you know and it's all like Twitter especially I'm very self conscious about because that seems to be where most of the theme park drama is like you know I got backlash and attack for something else I said in February that I'd heard about Blackpool holding a meeting about whether they were going to open uh, when they planned because of Storm Dennis and I got loads of backlash now saying I was speaking a load of rubbish like all I was doing was sharing what I'd heard like it just wasn't needed and it's the same here sharing stuff on Twitter about like it's just not needed like it's, unnecess it's creating unnecessary negativity in the community uh, in my opinion but yeah I don't personally use Twitter a lot for those reasons I mainly just use it to promote my videos like Instagram is as much as there is still bits of drama here and there on Instagram I do use it a lot more because I feel a lot more comfortable with um, in terms of the people on there in in that I can sort of speak to them and express myself and you know meet people make friends and that uh, but um, yeah and then in terms of after that video I uploaded a Bounce Silla Fest video on Thursday because my mates just love that Bounce Silla Fest section so I pretty much cut that out of the original video and re-uploaded it one or two people said a few more comments about that that video got a few dislikes as well and then I didn't have anything to upload Saturday because I said, you know, with sort of the motivation thing and stuff, like, yeah, like, I didn't have anything really prepared pretty much. Uh, and then I uploaded Ranking Rides uh, last week and then, yeah, again, just motivation and stuff again. Uh, but as I said, I'm trying to get back into it next week. Obviously, this week I'm uploading this. Next week, there should be a brand new video online on the channel. Um, and it's going to be a ranking video. Again, I'm going to be doing another top five. And then hopefully the video with Ella as well uh, on the Saturday. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say. Um, be sure to subscribe. Uh, so you don't miss any of that future content um, that I've got planned. And click the bell to enable notifications. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.